Good day, Pinoy Clixers and Mixers. Welcome back to the channel. And we are here for episode 3, State of Pinoy Hero Clicks for March 2023. And once again, we are here with Larry. Larry. Hello. Okay. How are you guys? For you guys. So we're recording this 12, 12 a.m. in the Philippines. So apologies if our energy is a bit down. Marami tayong questions ngayon. Ah. Marami tayo. We have a full agenda today. But before that, <laughs> let's go and mimic our intro sound. Mission Impossible. <laughs> Again, Mission Impossible. <laughs> anyway, uh, so now we have five agendas this uh, for this episode. And the first one is to discuss a little our initial thoughts and the view of Spider-Man Beyond Amazing. So basically, I was able to receive the care package from WizKids. Thank you once again, WizKids. Yes, thank you, WizKids. The care package. Uh, and it contained a brick, the mini miniature game, the play-at-home kit, and the Dyson token. Some of them have been traded and sold already. <laughs> okay, and um, what what do you think? I, I think uh... you, you, you got some of the figures and you saw the card design. Uh, what do you think of the new set? Uh, in terms the new of set is how it looks first, amazing. Beyond amazing. Yeah, the figures are very big. Yeah, and the sculpts are very nice. Okay, so I think compared to the other set, this one has a one of the better, as you said, sculpt and paint job. Yeah. Uh, yeah, my, the figures are strong. Yeah, in in my booster, I was able a brick rather. I was able to pull the Prime Spider Man, okay, which I play tested. Okay, and I was mentioning to Larry how how strong that figure is with a little, ano, uh, miss, ano, <laughs> misunderstanding, ba? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because we thought that. Uh, let me pull him out. We thought that. I think this is in relation to the new rules. Uh, the Spider-Man Rare Prime, if you are not aware, uh, has charge flurry and sidestep, okay, which is always good uh, for any co close combat figure. Okay, And then he has a trait which is free. If Spider-Man has two action tokens, give him a costed action as free. So initially, and we thought that he could charge again. Yeah, so uh, he he can ch he can charge, but but we thought he can charge flurry again. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. So, but uh, looking at the HeroClix International discussions, it seems like you can only do flurry once. Once per turn. Once per turn. So you either charge, do a single close attack. And then for that free action, do a, a charge flurry or vice versa. Okay. Which but, is confusing, no? Yeah. Because because uh let's say you have a figure that can do flurry and then uh, for some reason, uh let's say let's say commissioner uh chase. Chase, yeah. Give give him an action token to give a character a a attack. Yeah. And commissioner. That character can do flurry again because of him, but uh for that rule, I, I guess it cannot flurry again, even if it even if the action is coming from commissioner, because it's a you're giving a free action to that character who did already a Make flurry. An attack. Yeah. Okay. Um uh, I think. I think for commissioner it might work. Uh, I think the problem would be in in the charge power itself. The charge is now worded, meaning it's worded move, and then let me open up the the PAC. The charge is uh move, 
and then close as free. Capital close. And then, of course, oh. flurry is capital close. Yeah. So if you're doing already close as free, you can only use the same free action once per turn. But how about if it's coming from commissioner? It if says... it's coming from commissioner, it means that the chosen character yeah. can make an attack using its print, printed combat value. So it doesn't so mention any gonna... any free. Yeah. So see, but since in, it's an attack, it's can, can you do a capital close attack? I I think so. Make an but, attack. Make a but, so, ah, no, yeah, yeah, you're right. Diba? Because yeah. it's also free. Yeah. So, uh, since it's not, it should it should be worded. The character can make a close attack. Yeah. So, in, in a sense, commissioner can give an attack, but it should it's not a close. It's not a flurry attack. Just a regular. Yeah. Maybe yeah. Attack. Mm -hmm. Normal attack. Yeah. Also. Mm -hmm. Okay. And also, I'm confused with the charge. Yeah. That, uh, if you do, uh, let's say a double charge, you cannot, you cannot use an object to use. That one, I'm also uh confused. Why, why you cannot do a close attack object in a in a flurry or in a double charge in case of. In the case of flash SR, uh, for both charge for both for both charges. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Because when we see. played in the free tournament, they were saying you cannot. Eh? So you can only do like charge regular attack. Yeah. Okay. It this might have something to do because the the new rules. For the object attack would be let's see. Close, it's 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 capital close, close the uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it became capital close, I guess. So that's why uh some of the things we used to do are now uh, cannot be done anymore. Cannot be done anymore. Yeah. So we're experiencing the effect of the new rules, I guess. So time to relearn yeah. new tactics. And also, uh, Conrad and I during the last tournament, uh, uh, we when we were watching the games because of the first game I was by win. Yeah. Uh, even though he gave fifty five minutes to the game, the game was still uh, you cannot still uh, KO all of the opponent. I, I mean, even if we were using a small map, the game was still slow. Yeah. Not mm -hmm. as fast as, as fast. we expected. Yeah. Well, it, it, for me, I feel like it has something to do with the general play style of Filipino players. Okay. We can tend to be defensive. Okay. A lot of doing the dance, just passing, etc. Or... Putting up, yeah, yeah, placing. Well, well, yeah. Unlike unlike you, of course, you always play aggressive, and I also play aggressive. So <laughs> it's either we win big or we lose big. big. But, but but you're right. It's very it's very hard to completely wipe out your opponent. Okay, whether it's a small map or a big map, especially if your opponent are are using meta pigs. Meta pigs, yeah. I think I was only able to do a wipe out. In one of the tourney, and we'll talk about that a little later. Okay. Yeah, but... and, and and when you see players there with their points, 300, 300, 300, you just wonder how they do it. <laughs> yeah. In the US, no, they they, they, no, they really yeah, have how they 300 do points. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's why I think it's very important for you to, if you really want to build a meta team, to count the total number of damage your team can deal in one turn. Okay, like, for example, that's why the charge flurry is always good and the free attack and even the poison damage, poison teams are good because, and the autonomous bystanders, I'm talking about Maggot, Maggot team, of yeah, course. Yeah. Because they're doing a autonomous yeah, attack. Yeah. 
Yeah. So you have to count like how many damage your your team can dish out for one turn because sometimes you only get two three turns in a tournament in 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 a game and that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So going back to the agenda, SMBA. Um. What other? How about the the card design? I know you have a you already have some some you saw already the card on hand. Okay. How do you like it? The the the, uh, the look well of the card. Me, the card design is okay. Something different. Um. I guess you can you can see already their powers in front, but for some figures, you you also have to look at the back because it's so long. Their powers. Yeah. The traits. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So do you do you do you like it better than the old one? Um, not really, but not really better. But the new design is, uh, is good because you know that the new sets does that these are new sets. The new sets, yeah. Oh, yeah. it will it will separate them from the old sets. Yeah, that's actually what I was also thinking. That uh, I remember the. The last time we kids did this card design change, but it was I think also superior post of Spider Man, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, that's the first time that 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 they implemented putting the the dials on the card at the back of the card. Oh yeah, yeah. Right? In the superior force of Spider post of Spider Man, um, and they're doing it again in a in a Spider Man set. Okay, and that might uh set up. As you said, distinguishing what would be the the standard modern, uh, probably next year after Worlds, I I have a feeling that they might rotate all the previous sets afterwards and then just keep. Yeah, that's why they're letting they're letting yeah. us use all of the sets before they retire, no? Retire everything. Maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So we, we, we might be surprised we might get a surprise from WizKids. Yeah, yeah. So that's my initial thought that this might be the last time to use majority of the previous sets because again, uh, but I'm thinking about Batman team up because it, because it just, it was just released. But I feel like, for example, the, the Disney Plus might be retired earlier than usual just to... No. <laughs> <laughs> it, just to make sure that again, uh, the card design would be standard for all the figures. Anyway, so meta figures, we haven't had a lot of items for SMBA where we have some uh, brick break coming up for, for SMBA, but oh, what do you think are some meta figures? Have you looked into the set all figure by figure and have you or watched some reviews on it? Which do you well, think based uh... on your play style? Is, is meta for you? For me, because if if I still cannot use the fig, I I don't research so much on the on the, on mm. that set, yeah. Unless unless I can really use it, so that's the time that I really study the the sets, the figs, mm. the meta figs. So for now, since we still cannot use it, I'm not really reading the figs that. That are meta, that but, are meta. yeah. But uh, some things I, I I saw you like yung Murdoch, uncommon lang Murdoch, na tayo. Yeah, yeah, the Matt Murdoch common. Yeah. yeah, I think that's for its points. When you perplex, that pig cannot cannot uh modify or replace. Modify, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I that's think... a good pig. Yeah, so this this is like a an outsider's team ability. Yeah, for Matt Murdock. Okay, so and considering he has the celebrity keyword, then he fits in a lot of meta teams, as as you said. So, yeah. So you. How can... about that? How about the team? No more team prop. Do you think it's it's it changed a lot of for building teams? Uh well, for me personally, it did because it it gave me actually more freedom because as as you know, I always use uh, a team team X Men team for my for my tournaments. Okay, but 
because there's no more advantage doing that because of the lack of team team prob then it gave me the freedom to explore other combinations like uh, yeah, I, yeah. I, I and... still have, I, I still use x men because at least half of my team build is x men but the other half i tend to uh, use other of other figures in my collection so which is good and, and it's confusing for players because do you want to be first player or do you want to be second player? Because even if you win, sometimes you want to choose a bigger map for your bigger team. Map. Mm. If you if you're the second player in a man, you're happy that they make you a first player. Yeah, yeah. So so basically, uh, it leveled the playing field because before the the winner and the dice roll determines everything and. Would yeah, it's almost have, like eighty uh, percent you're gonna win the game yeah, if you're the first player. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Okay. Uh, meta figures a lot in the a lot of international community players are looking at the Carnage Silver Surfer three hundred dollars figure. <laughs> okay. What, yeah. Uh, what does it do? Okay. So let's take a quick look at it. Uh, the the scope is not so good, but it's. Carnage Silver Silver Surfer, so it's a fan favorite, I guess. Uh, six range, three target, cosmic energy for fifty points. It also has a, a higher point, uh, line, but people are looking at the fifty points, uh, dial. A special targeting elevated, okay, which is very helpful now that you can put uh, elevated terrains out there. Uh, there's a trait. Let there be carnage, plasticity, and shape change. When a friendly character with the symbiote keyword KOs one or more opposing characters, after resolutions, heal carnage surf, silver surfer one click, and he may heal past his starting line this way. So when he or another KO, so that, that's really strong. Uh, and special movement power, hypersonic speed, when carnage silver surfer uses it, and hits after his resolutions, he may make an attack. So oh, I see. Uh, a free so it's attack. like he has a no full full charge flurry. Yeah, plus range because it's hypersonic. So uh-huh. three oh, range. Yeah. And considering that he he has RCE, so it becomes 12 4. So it's like flurry with but with hypersonic, something like that. Charge flurry with hypersonic. Yeah, and yeah. Also just like the penet- just like the Vision Prime. Yeah. And he also has penetrating psychic blast, still energy, but with close or range attacks. <laughs> so and he has that special power at uh, entire dial, and then that special movement, first two clicks of the dial. And again, he heals and he's cosmic, no? Cosmic, yeah. So he heals when he attacks. And he can heal past his starting line when uh another symbiote chaos. Okay. But so, he doesn't have a stop click. He doesn't have a stop click per se. That's true. Uh, so let's say if you attack him for some for some reason that he cannot use his super senses. One, two, three, six. four, five. For six damage, you're gonna KO him. Yeah, but it's hard to dish out six damage in one attack. Yeah, maybe a yeah. flurry. Yeah. And and again, this is a symbiote keyword, so he can be equipped with the Oh yeah. Yeah, the the black so even if you red. take away his senses. Yeah. He can he, he also has shape change. Uh he has shape change Oh and, yeah. And then plasticity. Because uh, for some for some reason you cannot take away both. What do you mean? The senses and the shape change. Uh you cannot outwit I mean, it. I mean, it's hard. It's cosmic, yeah. It's, it's but it's gonna be hard. Uh, I can think of tempo to take out to take the, the senses. senses, and, and then, then uh, battle fury patch. to take out the. Yeah. Or maybe a battle fury, so that battle fury for the shape the change. opponent cannot use shape change. Yeah. yeah. Or or the one that you use, you always use this, Flash Thompson. Oh yeah. <laughs> to take away the the senses. But again, that's forcing two characters in your team yeah. to combat. Usually, 
you cannot you cannot carry both yeah if you're attacking and this is his 175 points he gains wow uh invincible 13 attack 5 clicks. damage penetrating and he can do it again again <laughs> If you equip him with the symbiote black, he gains stealth also. So that's <laughs> okay. So he's the big money piece in the set, uh $300. So yeah. Okay. What else? Uh people are also talking about, of course, the legacy card carnage. Oh yeah, that's As... that's a must have for me. Yeah. You you have this figure? Yes. How many? <laughs> Just one. This <laughs> one. Okay, this one. Uh, I, I think, think we have a, we have a player here who has both. Who has two? Two. We're talking Percival. about right. Percival, yeah, he has yeah. two. Okay. Is, so, is the legacy card unique? I don't think it's unique. It doesn't. So you can use two. Yeah. And for ten points again, you can do a lot of things. Uh, blades, claws, fangs. Uh, I think it's called red. Okay, and then you can heal Carnage. If you do and hit after resolution, heal Carnage equal to half the D6 result of the Blade's Claw. And he may heal past his starting line this way. And, oh, oh and it's like, a, no. It's like Mango or Flora. Or, uh, Flora Colossal, yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay, and then of course, he has top click. On the last click. Or like Phoenix, no? Like Phoenix. Yeah, yeah, Dark Phoenix. Oh. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, these two are the and ones. And he's a call at. red. He's a call red. I think he's call red. Let's see. Free. If no other yeah, friendly yeah. character has been placed this turn, choose an opposing character. Yeah. Close attack that must use Blaze Close Fans. <sighs> okay. And. The good thing about this is that after he call red, he can still he can still attack the character. It doesn't say he cannot attack small it figure. Yeah, it doesn't say he cannot attack smaller figure. Oh. So just like Phoenix, nga. Yeah, just like Phoenix. So and and he's one of the very few call red pieces in the game right now. Yeah. So. If you're going to get some, if you want to want to get something here in the set, it's really, it's 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 more like a carnage set because because all the meta are carnage rather than Spider Man. I'm also looking at that Prime Ant Man because when he does when he makes a range attack after doing that attack, he puts out a pog that has poison. Yeah. Uh, right beside the figure he attacked. He attacked. Does it, does about it Avengers Forever Invincible Ant-Man. Ah, ano, ah, yeah. Yeah, hindi pala yeah. SMB yun. Yeah. Not SMB, but... Yeah, okay, but, okay. But, yeah, yeah. But that's okay, meaning uh, any, it's a better prank compared to others. Okay, so what else are people talking about? In How about the Doc Doc Ock. The Doc Ock. Because when he, when he moves, he can carry his... Yeah. Arms, na pogs? Arms. Yes, yes. But 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 I feel personally that, uh, because if you're using Doctor Octopus, he would probably be in the Sinister Syndicate team team. And and for that to work, you need to have the Iron Spider Prime because the Iron Spider Prime give give the Sinister Syndicate safeguard outwit. Oh. So, yeah, yeah. So that so that he cannot be because Doc Ock has mastermind. Right? Has mastermind, yeah, yeah. And he doesn't have any reducer, so he yeah. really badly. So you have to protect mastermind. that mastermind. Yes. Power. So Iron Spider is also one of the meta figures in the set. And the prime. Is that the prime also? Prime, super rare prime for thirty Ooh, points. Yeah. Poison. All of the strong figs are prime. Yeah, I think this is a prime heavy set. Uh, prime and chase heavy set, like for example, the other prime is the rare prime kingpin. Take a look at this dial, ninety points only. <laughs> it's so long. Three three stop clicks. 
and charge flurry. Wow. Super strength. And then the stop click comes with impervious that can reduce penetrating damage. And then yes, regen. And it's charge it, uh, flurry. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, charge. He had a uh, charge flurry. Yeah, that's true. And then when the kingpin uses the regeneration, and if he has no action token, do not have the result. So it's gonna be hard to KO this figure. I remember Emperor Gladiator has something similar, but he Emperor Gladiator is one hundred points, so this is lower. <laughs> and Emperor Gladiator only has one stop click. This has three stop clicks. That again. With this is also a prime. Can reduce penetrating. It's also a prime. The Hawaiian shirt kingpin, the rare prime. So also one of the meta figure. 90 points. Can you imagine how many attacks you will have to do to <laughs> in a, this in a three turn game? <laughs> uh, you can do a point denial team with this prime. Okay. Uh, let's go back. So I think overall SMBA is going to be uh is 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 a it's a flip meaning it's it's a great set. Okay, I'm not yes, yes. I'm not a huge Spider Man fan, but I can see that it's a great start for it's a great set to start Hero Clicks anew, you know, with the new cards. And if and, and if for somehow you cannot take out. Your opponent's super senses, it's gonna be hard. Yeah, and considering the Spider-Man team ability, yeah, has been changed into plus one senses if you already have senses. So that's why we were talking about. I remember we were talking about you need to have tempo always in your team because yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be hard to hit the super senses figures. Okay, so good Unless job. You have your chaos. <laughs> Yeah, at least unless you have the rune, the rune markers and chaos, that's true. Okay, so good job with kids for this set. Uh, it's very newbie friendly as well because of the design of the card and uh, Spider Man is, is a fan favorite for a lot of uh people, so it can really get new players into the game. Okay, and I think that's really what we kids want that with the Spider Man set. And a new better sculpt, better card design, I guess, then to attract more players. Okay. And also that 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 their new terrains, like that um yeah. elevated, that that one by one elevated. Imagine you put a strong figure, drop it under him, he gets into a next elevation. And suddenly, all of your figures can see him. Can see him, yeah. By range. Yeah. And he can also see everyone, technically. Yeah, but it, if it's your turn and you drop that elevation, elevated terrain under him, he gets elevated. And then you still have actions to do range. You follow up with a range attack. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, he's you, you, high. Yeah, you're talking about putting it under your opponent's yeah, yeah. Main, main character. That's yeah, and let's say... Let's say you have you want to kill one fig from your opponent, mm. you bring down an elevate elevated terrain under him. Mm. And then a lot of your figures can do range. Range. Okay. Uh and that would take care of mastermind as well. Because he's elevated, so he cannot do mastermind. Yeah. Okay. Or figs that that has uh uh Defend. Defend. You take out the defend pig. You stealth, raise him up. Stealth as well, right? Because oh, yeah, stealth. If he's hiding in stealth and then you put an elevated, stealth. then it it uh will it will discontinue the effect of stealth, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I haven't thought of that. That's because I I I tend to also be a range team, so that might be yeah. That's like that. I was when I was looking at that. If you have a range, if you have a lot. Of figures that can do range, mm -hmm. you can use that technique. Eh? Yeah. Anja. Binaro ko na. Nahanan. Andito. For a while, my wife is talking with me. 
Hi. Okay, so yeah, so there are again new tactics that can be done with the new rules and 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 the terrains. The terrains are very exciting actually, although we are yet to maximize the the terrains ourselves. But I I like that I like that use. One of these things I'm gonna try it. Okay, so let's go to the next item like the agenda, which is our experience with tournaments and unboxing. Uh, we had folder to collect. We had uh we had three tournaments so far this March. Um uh, and then a couple of unboxings that we've done this month. Okay, so yeah, a lot of tournaments. Uh, a lot of tournament. Uh, I'm just gonna March. I'm just gonna roll call them. We had a rule of three tournament. I don't know if you recall this. The champion in this tournament was Eugene. Okay. <laughs> okay, and you you also played in this tournament. Remember when uh we were trying to be on last place instead of winning yeah. the tournament? <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> okay, can you tell a little? Do you remember your team that that time? What was my team? <laughs> I can't remember. I think it's a terrible team. That's why we... <laughs> Maybe it was Destroyer, I think. Let, let's see. This, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It might be Destroyer. Yeah, yeah. Destroyer SR. Destroyer SR. For me, I, I think I used like... That. I, I think you, you used the, with a lot of... That figure that can you know, duplicate himself. A multiple man. Yeah, that's yeah, true. yeah. yeah. So, I treated this as a fun tournament. I use multiple man, uh, three multiple man at full points. I think, so, so I really have no intention winning that tournament. I just wanted to to feel the tournament. Uh, using that multiple man, and this was your team. What's your team? I oh, know it's not seen here. What did you? Yeah, I think Destroyer Prime. Yeah, with two Loki. Two Kid Lokis. Loki. Kid Lokis. Yeah. So, uh, we did not, we ended up, I think, first and second from last. <laughs> okay. First and second <laughs> from the last in that tournament and Eugene was the champion. Okay. I think, I think that was the game that before Angel and I ended, I told him, okay, I... Concede. <laughs> I concede. I was winning, yeah. but towards the end of the game, I said, I concede. Why? Because I want to be in the last place so that I can pick two figs. Pick two <laughs> figs from the snake draft, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you <laughs> are winning you and won. then you concede. Yeah. Okay. And then the week following that, uh, we went to separate tournaments. I went to Estancia Ball and joined the Clicks Manila Q1 Championship organized by Joey. Uh, we played Modern and the champ there was Marcus. Okay. And in your using, case, uh, he was using two Iron Man. Avengers, Avengers team. So that means Iron Hammer. Yeah. And, and Sakarian Sakarian. Iron Man. Yeah. And also, and also, I think, was he using... He must be using Scarlet Witch also. Scarlet Witch, Hope, and Manifold. Something like that. So it's an Avengers. Yeah, Manifold. The one who carries. Yeah. So it's an Avengers team. Okay. So he was first. I was second. Uh, there's a fun story here that... Uh, because it was my first time to use tarot cards. A uh, tarot deck in a live tournament. Okay. So... What? You keep forgetting? I, <laughs> no, 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 not that I kept I kept forgetting about it, but uh, I was using Spider Man Prime, okay, from SMBA. Oh yeah, and, yeah. And, and Blackheart with uh with pumpkin bombs, okay. But but uh, so I use a I use a tarot card that is let me see what that tarot card is, um uh, that 
that is uh individual what's that tarot cards the people that can use incapacitate i was beaten by my own tarot card basically <laughs> so uh i opened that tarot card and uh my figure black heart i think that can benefit from that tarot card already died and marcus utilized it against me um <laughs> and then the match was close but um the last action during the last action i was in the middle of a flurry so i attacked hope and then i KO'd hope with the spider man prime and then my second attack uh before i do my second attack in the flurry time was called so i was forced to finish my flurry so i had to attack uh iron hammer and then mm. iron hammer has a trait i think let me just confirm he has a trait that uh when iron hammer sends super senses when iron hammer uses it and succeeds instead of evading the attack you may choose an opposing character within range and line of fire to become the hit target and <laughs> sadly uh he was successful in the super senses and he redirected the damage of spider-man prime to one of the hellfire club guard <laughs> <laughs> and because of that, I lost by, I think, 20 points. I was winning by 5 points, but because of that, oh. I lost to the... To... So it was better if you didn't do the attack? <laughs> yeah, it was better for me if I didn't do the, the flurry <laughs> attack. <laughs> Salagang, it was not meant to be for that particular tournament. But but nonetheless, Marcos has a very great team. In your case, I said we went to different tournaments. You had a tournament in Viramon, and I think you were yeah. the champ for that particular tournament. Yeah, I used the poison team. Yeah, the poison team of Magot. Torch, Magot, and the Red Lantern, SR. Mm. Uh, Guy Gardener. Guy Gardener. Okay, the chase from Wonder Woman. Yeah, Flash was carrying all of my team and when he does his two-charge thing, I would drop all of my figures adjacent to figures that I would, that I think that were mm. were that Things that I wanna damage, so I would drop adjacent to them torch and, and maggot, and they would do their thing like the penetrating poison from torch, the mm. poison from maggot, and then torch would because my torch had had cloak, so he would sidestep and destroy a uh, buyer yeah. that came from came from Teen Lantern. Because mm. Teen Lantern can can do one barrier for free. Mm. And when Torch sidesteps on that barrier, he can destroy it. And when he does destroy it, he has, he has this trait that adjacent opposing characters deal one penetrating damage also. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I'm just curious, were you able to wipe out with the poison team? Uh, not really, but I was gaining uh, a lot of points mm. with that team. Okay, okay. So because you mentioned earlier, it's really hard to wipe out a uh, yeah. team. Yeah, but so, I think that team was the most... The closest one. Yeah, the, the most points that I get for a game with using mm. that team. Using that team, okay. Because it was really fast. Okay, so more turns, I guess. Okay, and and the la the latest tournament we had was last week, and you also ended up as the champion for that one. Okay, you used the world's finest. We were allowed to use one print and play legacy, uh, figure. Yeah, and you used the uh, that that world's, world's finest. finest. That world's finest sixty points is awesome. Yeah. 
you Grabe. equip him, you equip him with the uh, what you call this with the belt with the belt with the utility belt Where which i shouldn't have because <laughs> because i thought i thought you can use uh uh automatically equip yeah yeah but but i guess that 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 belt you can mm. you can use it but it's not auto automatically equipped to that figure mm. so mm. I had the little advantage. <laughs> was Ward's finest KO'd at any of your matches or no? No, no. no. Was, he, was he even damaged? No. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I think people are because uh, his, his his defense at sixty points has combat reflex, yeah. invincible. So even though I was attacking figures with mystics, they won't yeah. damage me. They were mm. not damaging the world's finest and super senses. And then I had, I think I had a, I had a defense. Pa. Do I have a defense? Wonder Woman, no, no, Wonder Woman, have. the Wonder Woman. Yeah, yeah, I had, I had a defense pa of nineteen. So, super, the world's finest was really nineteen plus two against close, at close range. Yeah. yeah. And then he he had super and senses. And then he had for his senses and shape change. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So uh, we we fought each other and yeah I, I remember it's I did not even took took effort. Ah uh, yeah, I use that thing that thing that one meta thing who has most of your points. Oh my god. He can, oh my god. Oh my yeah, god. he can he can after KO him. He goes back. He goes back. Yeah, Omega. But again, world's finest is, yeah, he is one of the finest figures out there right now. Yeah. So you better pull. Oh, you already have the legacy card for this, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you're ready to use it for nationals, if ever. <laughs> yeah. If it's, if it's, uh, Allowed, go allowable allowed. to use, then I will use that for sure. And then he has he has stealth pa, no? because of the Batman team. Oh, oh. Then he, he has Superman team ability, so he can see through him. And then He's he has really super, super strength, strength, and he has super strength, so he can Grabe. deal out seven damage even for that charge if he's carrying as a non standard terrain with plus two damage. Yikes. Yikes, yeah. Okay. So which even is, if he has only three clicks yeah, which of life. Is fair because this is again, this is Batman and Superman together. So it should really be one one of the best attackers in the game. Interesting. We're able to make use of this one, the trait. Uh it works fine as what what you call that? Yung... Yeah, but nobody was hitting him. I know it's it either fine, they were not hitting yeah. his defense or I was able to use my shape change or shape change. senses. That's so I wasn't shape able change. to use shape that. Change. Because of the belt. And because of the belt. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I always choose the shape change and ignore characters. Yeah, yeah. I see, I see. Okay. Okay. And then you mentioned some of your experience with the 16 by 16 maps. Okay. Uh, you mentioned that even with that, it's still hard to wipe out your, your enemy. Um, yeah, but Conrad your... and I were watching games. Yeah. And even with a small map, uh, with 55 minutes in the game, players were still having a hard time mm. KOing uh opponents opponents hmm. yeah well uh let me ask like given your play style do you prefer 16 by 16 or the, the longer map definitely because my play style is always close attacks yeah that flash can go end to end with this double charge thing mm -hmm. that's you don't have you don't even have to TK him mm -hmm. I think last month we talked about how the 16 by 16 map, the 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 small maps would would be more favorable to close attacks rather than long range characters. 
Yeah. Because you can already base the the range character so that they won't be able to attack unless they have breakaway. Uh, yeah, and I, when what. I was when I was researching, uh, uh, maybe two nights ago, I was thinking if I have a range team, I have I will have a figure that would carry that elevated terrain and drop it under mm. one fig that I would try to KO from my opponent. Mm. And that fig will go to that elevation and my range figures will attack him. Mm. Will mm. be able to attack him because he's on top. Yeah. Even the ones at the back, right? You can just elevate yeah. that character. Okay. And because it's a small map, usually my, my range can do a running shot and have that range to mm. to reach. Mm. Okay, okay. Well, that's the only thing that uh, range figures can do. I uh, have an advantage of, I guess, in a smaller, a smaller map. Okay, so we still need more play time for this oh, yeah. smaller yeah. map to get used to the mechanics. Okay, so let's go ahead and move into the next item, which is the the pools from our brick break so oh yeah so, so we had uh three brick breaks okay the the first two was for avengers forever and then the last one we did just tonight the x of swords brick break yes the yes. the first the avengers best, for the best brick. the best the best break the the first avengers forever set was uh you were the host of that particular brick break yeah. Okay. It was a good set, but we didn't have the chase. We did not have a chase. What prime did we get? The swordsman, the swordsman prime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. swordsman. Yeah. yeah. What was the notable? I don't think there was a note anything. The SRs were Iron Man, uh, mm. Immort Immortus, Immortus, and Miss America. Yeah. I think we had yeah. Ghost Rider. Yeah, we Ghost Rider. So we had four super we have Four SRs. Yeah. So we had four SRs, but unfortunately, we did not have a chase for that particular break. Okay. How did you do in that, in that break? I, I think, think I got three Andrea. boosters. Yeah. <laughs> I, I got Ghost Rider super rare. So it's, it's fine. Meaning nothing special. Okay. Yeah, but, my X my X Men dice uh that you traded your Ghost Rider. Go, not <laughs> Ghost Rider, the uh, no, the <laughs> Madame Madame Webb for your X Men dice. Madame, yeah, Web. Madame Webb, Madame Webb. But why did yeah, I get your Ghost Rider? Uh, I traded it for your Gwenpool. For oh, your yeah, Gwenpool, yeah, Gwenpool yeah, LD. Yeah, Gwenpool. yeah, yeah I, I said, remember yeah, yeah. you were yeah. volunteering it as a, a bonus prize. I told you, no, that's mine, and I'll give you the Yeah, prize. yeah. Ghost I didn't know that you were looking for that figure. I was looking for that figure. So the first Avengers Forever break was not extraordinary, but we had the second brick break, and unfortunately, this second break was the tampered break. Uh, that we ordered from Amazon. We call that a super mega tampered break. Super mega, the the wrong break. There's something wrong <laughs> wrong with that particular break. Okay, so the story is we purchased it online. It was on me. I did not check the review of that particular seller. Uh, it arrived with no legacy pack and there was no higher rarity except for rares. Super rares, chase uh, were taken out. There's no prime. There's no generic. As Larry mentioned, super heavy tampered brick. Okay. <laughs> so, but fortunately, uh, it ended well because we were able to get a refund from yes. Amazon. So, good job, Amazon, for that. When are we getting the next? Oh, we, we got an SMBA, no? Yeah, we 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 used nice. the refund to buy SMBA instead, and we're going to get that. Uh, I think April, April. I think this one, the April thirteen to twenty seven. I'm thinking not to buy, it, but I'm I'm having double second thoughts because even if I buy a brick, I still can't use it. So, uh, there's no more SMBA <laughs> brick to buy. No more. No more. So we got we well, got we at got, least at least 
nothing for me to think about. <laughs> yeah. And so what's what what seems to be free of delivery now are the X of Swords, Avengers Forever, but you don't want to buy from this one. Um and what else? I think War of the Realms also no no no. War of the Realms BTU. Is, no, BTU is no free delivery. But there's still some BTU. Yeah. I really like love that the uh, BTU break. The BTU, that's true. We haven't did we do a case break of BTU? I think I don't think so. A brick break of BTU. I don't think so. I can't recall. I, we might we might have done one. Okay. But anyway, so the tampered break, uh we're excited now that it's SMBA. Okay, so uh for for the seller, not not a good thing to tamper your product, obviously. So you're bad, you're bad, seller. You're bad. <laughs> you're bad. Okay, and then the imagine a brick with no SRs. You can, yeah. Even the shield age, even the sh the shield, he took it, he took it out. The Hydra, yeah, uh, the mindless one, the mindful yeah. ones. Talagang what? Talagang walang generics. Ano ba? No, it's <laughs> obviously tampered. So good thing Amazon hassle free and then gave us credit immediately when we returned it. Uh, the same day we returned it. So I guess all swell that ends well for this particular case. But yeah, even yeah. if even if we're not in the states, yeah, yeah, they still. Refunded immediately. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Very good, Amazon. Yeah, yeah. So, but again, this is lesson learned. Be careful when you're buying from Amazon. Me pa naman, um, when I buy from Amazon, I don't really yeah, me. <laughs> read the reviews. I just, uh, it's a, it's a free, free delivery. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Get it. Me, me too. Uh, That's my first priority. I just click the eligible for free shipping and that's it. Uh, Because shipping costs can be high to the Philippines, so that's why our priority is the free. What, what's the name of that seller again? Uh, Ajite, Ajite, something like that. Ajite oh. seller, yeah. So, but, uh, so again, high risk. I'm really, I'm really looking for that, I uh, know, that, that, that play. Play at home. Yeah, that's what I'm looking in Amazon, but they're not, Yet There's, available. Yeah. The SMBA play at home not yet available. Because I really want to get those terrains. Terrains, yeah. Okay. So you again you might want to get both play at home kit. Okay. Uh okay, let's go to the last one in, in our brick break, which is the X of Source brick break that we just finished earlier. Yeah. Okay. That was an awesome break. Yeah. So we had we we had a chase, so that's that's good. And I got I got the chase from the brick. Yeah, break. congrats. And it's the chase that I wanted. I only was missing two pieces from X-Men X of Swords, Apocalypse, and Annihilation. And the brick break, I pulled Annihilation. So super happy that I did not have so to. So now buy you only that. need Apocalypse, the one with yeah. the sword. The scarab, the scarab sword. Let me just check how much is that. Why does it call a scarab sword? I think because of the shape. It is shaped like a or a curved sword. Mm -hmm. like that. I'm, I'm not so sure, but that that's my initial thought. So annihilation, one hundred nineteen dollars. Wow. Hmm. Okay. I think that's the strongest chase from the set. Yeah, and uh, yeah, yeah. And, and second is apocalypse at eighty nine. So at least one less figure to buy and hunt for. For for me, okay, you got a a great tarot. You you got the Ace of Cups, I think, which is when you miss with flurry, you can make another attack. Oh, oh, and you can use that okay. with your Spider Man Prime. Spider Man, Safarian, yeah, Vision Prime, Vision Prime, yeah. So there's a lot of Ace of is it Ace of Cups? No, oh. Ace of Pentacles is a pentacles. Pentacles. Uh -oh. Yeah. Uses flurry and misses one or both attack at resolutions. They may make a close. Ah, it has to miss. Yeah, but but that gives you assurance, of course. Let let's say you're doing. Uh, yeah. Uh, the Spider-Man Prime. Then. Chances. Yeah, it give you a second chance to do. 
to successfully hit your character, your opponent rather. Okay, so it was a good break. We had three super rares. Uh, a big it was a fast break, no? Just okay. a week? Yeah, it arrived after, I think, less than a week. I don't know. I think a little more than a week, like eight days, if I'm not mistaken. So we were crossing our fingers that it's not tampered. So good thing it wasn't. So the seller was Toy Fuzz. So might be a good idea Toy. to buy Toy Fuzz. Okay. F-U-Z-Z. And right now, okay, we bought another one from him. Okay, for us for another brick break. Because right now it's at one hundred one dollars. It's like five hundred pesos, five hundred fifty pesos per poster. Yeah. It's at forty percent off right now. So, if ever you want to get some more, it's this like will be it's like the booster price here. Uh, three four years ago. <laughs> four years ago. Yeah. yeah. I, I, when I entered Heroclix, the booster price was already seven hundred pesos. So oh, this is so it was more. Yeah. So this one is really a great deal at forty percent off. So it's like buy one take one for your for your boosters. Okay, and it's free shipping. That's the most important part. Free shipping. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, uh, a lot of uh pools for this month. And when it comes to hero clicks, so okay, let's go to the next item, which is hero clicks. I don't know if you were able to read already the article about uh changes in Silver Age, some erratas, and the news. Yeah, about, yeah, I was able uh, to read some about uh the news about rotation. Okay, Silver Age. Uh, I guess the big news there is the the Thanos Ultra Chase. The Thanos, yeah, yeah can already equip the gems. Uh, although Silver Age is not so much a format here in the Philippines, so it doesn't affect us as much as, uh, I guess, internationally. When was the last time we played Silver Age? <laughs> I think before Long the time. pandemic. Pa, no? I think we played one Silver Age in Roll20 where, where KL and I fought in the finals. Ah, I see, I see. I was using Mango. Yeah, but other than that, using... yeah, Silver Age is really not a, a favorite. But for format. me, I like, I like Silver Age. Because oh, really? It, you like Silver Age? Yeah, I like it because it <laughs> it it makes me use my old figs. Yeah. I, I, I don't like it as much because it gives me a lot of headache. <laughs> well, especially now, there's no more ID cards. So... It's easier. It's easier, yeah. Because easier. the ID cards are the one that's making it more, ano, eh, more... Confusing. Confusing. Yeah, that's true. Okay. That, Without that, that the ID sense. cards, it's, it just, it's just like using your modern team. Mm. Just adding one Silver Age okay. fig in your team. Mm. Mm. Or if not, you can just use your old... Your, your modern. usual modern team. Mm, that's true and that's what I typically do because but just imagine um, if you're using silver you can use again phoenix, phoenix imagine yeah. That. yeah so that's the only thing probably that I will wow. have for my X-Men team the the phoenix from X-Men animate X-Men dark phoenix set and then I can use that that chase figure that you cannot you cannot call red within four squares if you charge oh. It's what you call this. Who's that? The uh, who's that? Um, Harry Harry Leland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, one of your favorite figures. Yeah. As well. Okay. Uh, but so so I hope we have a silver age format. Perhaps in the nationals, it might be a di a different day. We have a a silver age. Storage. Yeah, that would be exciting to to put a silver age format in the nationals. In the nationals, meaning perhaps no more. It's straight up elimination already. Uh, or we can do it like because the Monday tournament is is again being open. Yeah. So maybe you can use that format. Format yeah, that's, for Mondays. Okay, so it's it's not as newbie friendly, but uh, 
Yeah, yeah, but that's true. It's not newbie friendly because only veteran players has access to old mm -hmm. picks. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Silver Age, something that we can still give it a shot, but I'm not so excited about it because of my, I was traumatized by Silver Age games before. Uh, erratas, there were also some erratas on figures, especially those that gives additional team props. Okay, because there's no more team oh, yeah, props. Yeah. So basically, these figures will only have probability control, like, like the evolutionary. Evo Prime. Yeah, Captain Venom, for example. Captain Venom, yeah. Yeah. Okay, it so just gives them a no regular problem. prop. Yeah. So it's if they're it, team team. Yeah, so it made them weaker, obviously, because of that errata. But at at least it it gave them that power. Mm. Yeah. For you to use in modern. That's true. That's... Because usually you won't you won't use na team team because you don't have team props anymore. Mm. So at least you are given one prop. At least one prop, yeah. Yeah. In exchange for that power. And and of course the one prop can be used once per turn. So yeah. It might be more than six times you use it, depending on the number of turns in the game. I remember that poison team that I use, I have four props. <laughs> mm -hmm. What's the four props coming from? Magot. From Flash. Flash. Team Lantern. Team Lantern. Torch. And Magot. Torch. Torch also has prob. Yeah. I see. Hundred point. Torch chase. The, the chase, yeah. Okay. And of course, one of the big news is the rotation that nothing's rotating. Oh, yeah. Nothing's rotating from modern this year. <laughs> you can use what, what what's what's modern? What's the modern set ba? From for us, for us. Many uh globally first. So it means from national from Ka from Fantastic Four. From Kaab ba? That no, no, Kaab Ka is already you know. So from F4? Yeah, yeah. 2020? Yeah. But Kaab is also 2020. No, it's already retired. retired. So Ka F F4. Together with JLU. Together with JLU. So F4, Spider-Man, Venom, Carnage. Yeah. And then FFFF, House of X, and, Ch and then other sets. Okay. So that means I think for you you were you were thinking of F F four what would be molecule man would still be yeah I don't know molecule man is from F F F F but what's notable for F four God Emperor Doom uh, Silver it. Surfer <laughs> Silver Surfer yeah Ghost Rider Prime because you used it Ghost in the Rider last Prime national. yeah uh the the son of Richard Franklin Richards yeah, yeah. that rare. Punisher? Franklin Richard. War Machine is here? Is yeah. Punisher? I don't know. War Machine and Punisher are from Kaab, I think. Kaab, yeah, yeah. So what else? The thing with the Chuck and Buzz. Yeah, the defend thing. Yeah, that's still, I mean, that, that's that's fun, especially there's, you don't have to build the Fantastic Four team. Teams, Making so. the F4 uh, competitive, competitive until Nationals. Yeah, this year. Uh, Spider-Man Carnage, what's the notables? Of course, uh, let's see. Null is here. Also, those picks that, I uh, know, like, if you can Spider Hammerai is here also. Oh, mm, I sold that. Oh, no, I traded it. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, so... The Necro Sword is here. Equipment wise, pumpkin bombs. So we have two pumpkin bombs. The one from SMBA and from SBC. Wild the Arms. The Wild the Arms. Yeah. The Wild Arms. The Carnage. Wild Arms, I mean. Yeah. yeah. Carnage Symbiote is also here. Plasticity Shape Change. Still useful, yeah. Still useful, I think. Okay, what else? Are we missing anything important? Uh -huh. um, how about how about that world's finest? You equip him with Waldo Arms. Uh if an opponent makes an attack or 
make does an outweet, world's finest can do a free action attack. With yeah. Waldo Arms, if he if you roll Wrong. a dice and you roll five six, he also does a free attack. But it's it's well, both free action. So supposedly you cannot do that because there you already did a free action attack. Okay. So uh, how can you do it again? I think you can do it because the wording is not exactly the same. It has to be word by word the same. So that uh, if it's exactly the same word by word, then that's the only time you cannot do it uh, twice. Well, I guess. Uh, make it Because for Waldo Arm, it's just free, make a close attack. And the one that you're saying... Make an attack, but only to target an opposing character since your since your last turn. Uh, it doesn't say free. Yeah, it it's, it still says free, uh, but there's a condition. So technically, it's a guess, different. Yeah. It, it's a different free action. Okay, so so with Waldo Arms, you can. This makes word finest even more, <laughs> even more, <laughs> uh, competitive. The Waldo Arms. He doesn't need to roll. Yeah, I remember you played in the Roll20. Their world's finest was equipped with Waldo Arms. Waldo Arms. Instead of the utility belt. But but he but without the utility belt, he loses the shape change. Only shape change, yeah. Only shape okay. change. Okay. Although if you roll one to two, you modify attack and defense plus one. Which is still good. Which is still good. Three to four incapacitate as free. Hmm. Which is still good. Which is still good, yeah. So, although you might want to really roll the five and the six for the three. Attack. Yes, yes. Okay, and that means even a clo only close, only close. Okay. How about that other one, the the trait? Is that only for close? For words finest? When somebody out used the outwit? Is it only to make... I think you can use it range also. Range also. Let, let's just confirm. Okay. We're, we're confirming because I'm not... I don't have this figure, so I don't know. Um, I have two. Make an, make an attack. Make an attack. I have two. Oh, you have two? Mm. Yeah, but it's unique. The legacy card is unique, so... Yeah. So if somebody pulls... If I pull a word finest legacy, I know where to look for the figure. <laughs> Yes, yes. Okay, so yeah, so they can make an attack whether it's close or range. So Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And since World's Finest has a Superman team ability, even if your opponent is stealth, he can true. That's true. Okay, so rotation news, very, very important. Whiskey said you can use whatever you want. Okay, but for me, as I said earlier, it might mean something big is coming after the worlds. There might be a big announcement yes. of major <laughs> rotation. Goodbye things. <laughs> Goodbye things. Okay. Uh, let's go to the the next part of our agenda, which is community Q and A. Uh, I'm gonna pull out some of the questions here from our Pinoy Hero Clicks Facebook Facebook group. The first question is from Anton. How can we as a community grow and make new products accessible to all? Uh, new products, Amazon, right now. Amazon, yeah. Correct. Amazon seems to be our priority to get new products. Okay, our fastest. I don't want to say safest yes. because yeah, it's safest because we were tampered. <laughs> we had, we got a tampered break, but if not the safest, at least it's the fastest way for us to get products. The fastest was I think. Three four days only. It got it arrived here yeah. in, the, in, in the in the country. Okay. Uh, community to grow. That's also that's a bigger challenge. What do you think? Well, we community want... grow. I I I think we just have to communicate. Okay. Uh, do we approach players or let them? Because I think it's very daunting for. For, for players to approach us, meaning to approach people playing. So we should probably have like demo games. Well, 
something it, like that. There should be there there should be a what you call a, a referee in between groups so that so that you can make them play together mm. or make a bigger group by combining the two, two groups. The two yeah. subgroups. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So there should there should be a unity. <laughs> There, there should be a person who is able to communicate with both groups so that yeah, so that I, you can come yeah, yeah you can I, combine I, I understand them because uh the current situation is there are small groups there's a group of uh let's say the the group of uh, true modern okay there's a group of <laughs> ng ng modern <laughs> Don't name. <laughs> don't name. Don't drop names. There's also yeah. the group and of also Cavite. the Cavite group. Yeah, there's you also should access the Cavite group. Yeah, RPG group of Cavite. There's the uh, Everything Goes group of Cebu. Okay, so yes. it, we we need to have an event to to get to them all together. Get them all together. I think that's what we're missing. An event to get them all together so that we can show a bigger. Uh, community. Yes. Because yeah. okay. we have a lot of players. Yeah. Players. It's just that they don't play all together. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, we play Saturday, some would, would play Sunday, so we just have to organize it in that sense to grow the community. We have to show our, uh, I guess, unity. Okay. And that can only be shown if there is and a, a, little, a little understanding. Because everybody has their own reasons. Yeah, yeah. So if I mean, want to... I mean, okay, go ahead. They're not. They're not all wrong, but they're not also all right. So all right. you know, yeah, that's true. That's true. Okay. So just like we just have to, uh, what do you call that? Find the middle ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, find the middle ground and... So it's just communication. Communication. Okay, so yeah. to build a community... Because everybody wants to play. Everybody naman wants to play in a big group. Eh. Yeah, that's true. I, I feel that in in a player's heart of hearts, you want to play, right? So whether... Yeah, you want to see many players get together, yeah. everybody yeah. happy. Yeah. Okay, so you cannot have everything that you want, obviously, but it is what it is. So to grow, let's play together. Okay. Yeah. I know. Okay. So Jonas Sul mentioned, man, inflation. This hobby, hobby ain't cheap. <laughs> but that is also it, true. Also true. Yeah. Um. But with Amazon, it's getting cheaper. It's getting cheaper <laughs> that's, with Amazon. That's one. Okay. That's one uh, answer <laughs> yeah. to that so question. You have to you just have to be patient. Like wait for the free shipping. The sale, on. yeah, yeah. So it's like it comes after one to two weeks after after the US release, I guess. That's when the free shipping comes in. So with patience, you'll be surprised how. Don't get too excited. Yeah, don't get too excited. You'll be surprised how cheap it can be. I, I say cheap, but still, like our X of S, that's 550 pesos. Uh it's not it's not cheap in any standard, but I guess it's the cheapest from compared yeah. to um uh, buying it, I, I guess, in, in some stores. Okay. So inflation affects everything. The good thing is that the quality also improved. So at least we have that. To justify the yeah, I like the big things. Yeah. Okay. Marcos as best best figures in modern and ng modern right now. I think it's still the the Scarlet Witch, the Scarlet Witch and Sakarian Iron Man. Whether it's ng modern yeah. or true modern, yeah. it's still the Disney Plus. So if you're yeah. building a team, your team should be able to if not KO Sakarian, make it weak. Yeah. And your team should be able to move if 
Scarlet Witch drops his chaos mm-hmm. terrain. Mm-hmm. Your your whole team should be able to move out of that. Out of that three within three within four. Uh, out of that uh space or yeah. aura that aura. Yeah, yeah. Which is which is harder to KO Sakarian or Scarlet based on your experience. Or which is easier? Which which do you go for, well, Sakarian or Scarlet when you're against it? Scarlet kasi, the Scarlet has for her trick, right? to has get strong. Trick. I mean, if you if you have an opponent which has Scarlet Witch, you just get out from that Scarlet Witch. Eh? Not like Sakarian. Even if you get out, that Sakarian will will hunt you. Yeah. So the so Scarlet Witch that, needs. The Scarlet Witch needs is needs its uh friendly characters to to get her to another location. It needs mm-hmm. destroyer to to KO a figure mm-hmm. that's in the chaos. So yeah, yeah. It, it seems like Scarlet is more of like uh defensive, meaning Dep- uh, and it's dependent on the, really attack on your team. Yeah, she doesn't really attack, whereas Sakarian is really. And yeah, an attacker. We need us damage. Yeah. Okay. So so when you're faced with Sakarian and Scarlet, you tend to attack the Sakarian because you know Sakarian can. Will, yeah, will and I had you. an experience using Agatha. Some people can really KO Agatha. Mm-hmm. Because she he doesn't she doesn't have stuff Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can KO, but not like the Sakarian. It's, it's so hard. Unless unless your opponent has this poison. Primago team. Above the poison <laughs> team. Yeah. I got you. Okay. So, what are some steps we can take to bring in new players? Uh, I think we also talked about this last month. And anything you want to say on this quickly? Uh, new I know. I'm not, I'm not... I really don't know how to bring in new players. New players. So. Yeah. <laughs> Well, for me, siguro, ano, uh, yun nga, as I said, have a demo session, okay, uh, freebies perhaps, but again, uh, siguro, I for think ad- for some groups, the, the, the biggest part is when they form a group and their friends mm. would play in that friendly group for a while until mm. they learn and then you bring that group Mm. to a big tournament that's how you in uh create new players but if you're creating new players in a in a let's say in a store or it's hard mm. you create new players in in your own house in your own small group in social media in facebook yeah yeah okay. I, I guess that's the easiest because okay, we yeah. have new players now in ng but they're not playing yeah, they're more of collectors more than paying. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And 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 in connection to that, Mon asks, what's the best way to entice people to make a comeback? Meaning a veteran player who used Well, that to legacy play. card is one. Yeah, legacy card definitely. And I think it's also scope. Meaning if they see yeah, the big pigs, the, big the bigger pigs scope, is also Yeah. Because I remember before when they started with the bigger uh scope, it was there was a big debate whether it's going to be good or bad. But but now... It was bad because it's going to cost more. Yeah, yeah. But now, I think overall, it's very attractive now compared to... All yeah, the yeah. yeah. Okay, so Mon and everyone, all our uh, veteran players, please make a comeback. Okay, you will love the sculpt of the bigger, the bigger sculpt and the better quality in terms of paint. Okay. And the last question Mon asked... And it's, not, and it's not hard to make a comeback because you, you just have to get meta figs and you're already in. Yeah, yeah. You already have the tactics and all yeah, tactics yeah. still work. Actually, sometimes you don't really need tactics as long as you have those meta teams already. Mm. Your mm. team is already good. Mm. Yeah. Because it's so hard to KO strong figs if you have those figs, even mm. if you don't really know how to use it. Mm. Okay. And the final question, 
what's the feasibility of having a seasonal type of league mala NBA where people are awarded points for wins etc para magka-ranking on clicks players i think this is the ano we used to do this in tournament we encode it online yeah but i guess they didn't uh but but there's no reason for us to do that now no kasi yeah. our, our nationals is the only open. way to qualify is via it's an open nationals and then the yeah. only way to qualify is via the the sealed yeah but it can be interesting like okay we still track the points so that we have the ranking and then probably just just reward the let's say player of the month there should be a reward yeah there should because be because if there's a reward then it forces players to play every mm-hmm. tournament because yeah. of the points yeah it can there be should be a reward coming from Wizkids. yeah or even it, from your it local should, game it store be free. yeah or even yeah but from even if it's coming store. from the store it should come from Wizkids. yeah because I, I, the I'm store thinking, is business eh. yeah i'm thinking they like, will give free stuff unless it also came for free from Wizkids. From Wizkids, yeah. But but I'm thinking very, very simple rewards. Like, it can just be an, even an older booster, an older LE. Just as long as there is a reward for so that to show the efforts are appreciated. Yeah. 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 Okay, so, Mon, this will only be feasible if we have reward, price support from WizKids okay, and even your local game store. Pero we're open to it. Meaning I'm open to it just for me to know uh, and also keep track of my win-loss record for one. Okay. <laughs> so I'm, I, I'm a bit curious because this... Yeah, and, and it, it, it's also bad because if... I, I mean in a sense that if there's a ranking, then for every game, mm. uh, you would bring in strong team. You won't have time. I mean, you won't play a fun team because of the ranking, because you're after okay. the points, right? Mm. Okay. So so the strong player will always try to win, mm. giving less chances to new players. Mm. That's true. That's true. There might be a tendency to... Like me, if, if there's a point system, then I won't bring a fun team every game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, but well, since there's me, no points and we're just having fun, sometimes you just want to bring a fun team. Yeah, you just want to use your other figs. Yeah. Well, well, for me, I would still use a, a a fun team, knowing that the the nationals anyway is open. So yeah, true. It's, true. it's not it's not gonna affect. Uh, I'd rather try out different teams week by week. Okay. So, but but you're right. Some might think I I have to present play always with my best team so that uh, I gain points. Okay. So again, those are our community questions for this month. Uh almost more, more than one hour for us. So let's try to summarize our yeah. episode number three of State of Pinoy Hero Hero Clicks. I only well, have we can one... talk all night if it's hero clicks. <laughs> yeah, we can talk all all night, but we have some things to do as well in the morning. I know. Um for me the big the big thing that I'm looking forward to and I'm crossing my fingers because this week is the end of March. Ano na ang new sets? Nasa na ang new set. So Yeah. Yeah. I so, hope they arrive soon. Yeah, because our unfortunately we have a lot we have, we have a big backlog of 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 new sets. So sometimes we're we're being patient, but again, nasa na ang new set. Okay, that's my only question at this point in time. Okay, so what are you looking forward for, Larry? Anything you want to say as we wrap up this episode? Well, I'm looking forward to you. Sorry, what what was that? I did not catch it. I cannot hear you for some reason. <laughs> okay, for a while, for a while, I cannot seem to hear you. <laughs> okay, something happened on my device as we close out. Uh, da, 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 da. 
Okay. No ba? Bigla na lang. Ba't ganun? Uh -huh. Bluetooth. Continue recording. Your speaker is not working properly. Continue recording. Okay. Hello? Hello? Can you can you say something? Wala rin. Lang. Speaker. Let me just... <laughs> okay. If not, then we can just... Wrap up. Okay. So again, we're gonna end it with that because my audio is failing. So Larry, say your goodbyes. Goodbye, everyone. See you. Thank you very much, Larry. Bye-bye.